Hi folks, hope everybody's okay. We're looking at this book, F.F. F. Bruce, New Testament Documents, amazing scholar. Writing on the uh, canon, um, of the New Testament. He writes, even when we have come to conclusions about the date and origin of the individual books of the New Testament, another question remains to be answered. How did the New Testament itself as a collection of writings come into being? Who collected the writings and on what principles? The historic Christian belief is that the Holy Spirit, who controlled the writings of the individual books, writers writing of the individual books, also controlled their selection and collection, thus continuing to fulfil our Lord's promise that he will guide his disciples into all truth. This, however, is something that is to be discerned by spiritual insight and not by historical research. Our object is to find out what historical research reveals about the origin of the New Testament canon. Um, he writes, The earliest list of the New Testament books of which we have definite knowledge was drawn up at Rome by the heretic Marcion, about 140. Martian distinguished the inferior creator God of the Old Testament from the God and Father revealed in Christ and believed that the church ought to jettison all the pertain to the former. This theological antisemitism involved the rejected not only the entire Old Testament but also those parts of the New Testament which seemed to him to be infected with Judaism. So Martian's and canon consisted of two parts an expurgated edition of the third gospel which is the Jewish which is at least Jewish of the Gospels, being written by the Gentile Luke, and ten of the Pauline epistles, the three pastoral epistles being omitted. Martian's list, however, does not represent the current verdict of the Church, but a deliberate abbreviation from it, aberration from it. Another early list, also of Roman province, dated about the end of the second century, is that commonly called the Moratorium Fragment, because it was first published in Italy in 1740 by the antiquary antiquarian cardinal L.A. Moratori. It is unfortunately mutilated at the beginning but it evidently mentions Matthew and Mark because it refers to Luke as the third gospel then it mentions John Acts Paul's nine letters to churches and four to individuals Philemon, Ty Titus and Timothy due to epistles of John the apocalypse of John and that of Peter. Shepherd of Hermes is mentioned as worthy to be read in church but not to be included in the number of prophetic or apostolic writings. The first steps in the formation of a canon, authoritative Christian books, worthy to stand beside the Old Testament canon, which was the Bible of our Lord and his apostles, appear to have been taken about the beginning of the second century when there is evidence for the circulation of two collections of Christian writings in the church. You can read more details uh, from the first from the first of this video you will see uh, a book underneath that you can read.